Born November 9, 1940, Jerry Wells grew up in Sulphur, Oklahoma, where in his early teens, he discovered a knack and talent for handling horses. At 20, he went to Texas to work for Matlock Rose and later George Tyler, where among his lessons in high-level horsemanship, he learned to fit a halter horse. Jerry then returned to Oklahoma to develop a horse for another mentor, Dr. Jack Donald, whose two-year-old Sugar Bars Colt Oto was a AAA racehorse. Jerry traveled the country with Oto as a three-year-old, winning halter classes at the American Royal, the Chicago International, and National Western in Denver, as well as the Fort Worth, San Antonio, and Houston stock shows, making Oto a AAA AQHA champion who became a leading sire and Hall of Fame horse. An all-around horseman noted especially for his success at the business end of the lead shank, Jerry scored 61 world championships in AQHA competition, a record that stood for many years. Jerry entered the business at a time when the bulldog quarter horse was still very much a part of the landscape, says AQHA past president Frank Merrill. More than any single individual that I can point to, Jerry single-handedly changed the halter horse industry. Aside from the halter pin, Jerry loved to rope, whether in jackpots or rodeos or show rings, and won an AQHA World Championship and a Reserve World Championship in tie-down roping. He put roping points on three AQHA Supreme Champions, including the very first Kid Myers, the AAA racehorse who Jerry showed in halter, western pleasure, and roping to take the inaugural award in 1967. Over the course of his career, Jerry had five finalists in the All-American Futurity and won the 1988 running as co-owner of Merganser, the first two-year-old racing world champion since special effort in 1982. I knew when we bought Merganser that he had the tools to be a top prospect, Jerry said. That's all you can really judge when you buy one. By the late 60s, Jerry was in business for himself. He and his wife, Betty, bought land and built a ranch in Purcell, Oklahoma, where by the late 70s they were breeding 750 mares a year and were among the nation's elite owners, trainers, and exhibitors. Jerry and Betty sold the Purcell Ranch in 1982 and downsized to a new place in Sulphur, Oklahoma, where they raised their children, Nancy and Marty. The Wellses never rode away. However, Betty and Nancy were both Women's Professional Rodeo Association barrel racers, and Marty Wells filled his card as a Professional Rodeo Cowboy Association tie-down roper. What it all boiled down to was a natural eye for a horse and an overwhelming will to win, noted the late Frank Holmes in an article in the American Quarter Horse Journal. Honored in the Oklahoma Quarter Horse Association and the World Confirmation Horse Association Halls of Fame, Jerry Wells left an indelible mark on the American quarter horse industry. Horses bred in Jerry's own name earned more than 1,500 points and three reserve world championships. As an exhibitor, Jerry earned more than 2,000 points in halter and 130 points in tie-down roping. Few people ever questioned his opinion of horse flesh. When Jerry Wells decided that a horse had the tools, you could bet it did. Jerry died May 3, 2008. We welcome the late Jerry Wells into the American Quarter Horse Hall of Fame. <laughs>